Taking a look at our current conditions outside, obviously very windy out there, but looking at our temperatures in Spokane, currently 29 degrees in Coeur d'Alene, 27, and then Moses Lake, 39 degrees, and if we zoom in even further, I will bet we're seeing very similar conditions in Spokane Valley, 32, Liberty Lake, 31, and then Coeur d'Alene, 27 degrees currently. Taking a look at our satellite and radar, you can see a lot of precipitation on the screen. All of the blue and green indicates a snow rain mix over there. You can see we had some in Coeur d'Alene, um, over near Moses Lake, definitely up out in the Tri-Cities area. So a lot of precipitation in the forecast, but the real story here are those wind gusts that we're seeing. So taking a look at our current wind conditions outside right now, you can see in Sandpoint um, winds at 33 miles per hour in Deer Park, 30 mile per hour winds in Spokane, 18, so not too windy currently here in Spokane. In Coeur d'Alene, 23 mile per hour winds as well. And then we still have that high wind warning in effect. You can see that on your screen for Bonners Ferry in Sandpoint. Sandpoint actually was the windiest today. They had wind gusts up to 54 miles per hour out in Sandpoint. And then taking a look at our wind advisory, all of these areas shaded in gray or brown, um, you can see that those are actually going to be in effect until midnight. Um, and that is a wind advisory for all of those areas shaded as well. And then we also have a winter weather advisory to talk about. Everything shaded in purple on your screen basically indicates very slick roadways, um, snowfalls. So for your travel plans, you definitely want to be careful out on the roads and just make sure you take it slow. Looking at tonight's lows, what are we going to drop down to in Spokane Valley? 22 degrees, Coeur d'Alene 23, Sandpoint 18 degrees. And then taking a look at your out the door forecast, what are we looking like for your Thanksgiving? 23 degrees, mostly cloudy at 8 a.m. And then for the rest of the day, what are we looking like? You can see here's your Thanksgiving planner. Our high for the day will be at 33 degrees. We're going to be mostly cloudy starting off, but then the sunshine should start to peek through as we head into those later afternoon hours. But it's going to feel a lot colder because of those wind chills. We do have a chance for some windy conditions in the early morning hours. As you can see on your screen, um, we'll have very chilly conditions in terms of those wind chills. So you definitely want to be careful for that. Taking a look at tomorrow's highs, what are we looking like in Spokane Valley? 33 degrees, Coeur d'Alene 33 as well, and then Sandpoint 29 degrees. And then taking a look at your seven day forecast on a Thursday, 32 degrees, partly cloudy skies. Happy Thanksgiving. And then on Friday, we're going to drop to 30 degrees. Take a look at those overnight lows, though, in the teens. Very chilly for those overnight lows. And then for your weekend, we just have partly cloudy skies in the 30s. We're going to stay in the 30s. This trend is going to last all through next week. And then, yeah, we're just going to have some very chilly conditions. We'll be right back after the break.